Uh, good day everyone, uh, my name is Sonogo Tonire and I'm about to show you how to create a Blackboard collaboration session. Alright, the first thing that you'll need to do is to access the course to which you want to create the Blackboard collaboration. So in this case, I'm going to use the test site. So I'm choosing that subject. And then what you need to do is to scroll down up until you get to your course management and then you go click on the course tools. Under course tools, you have you have access to all the course tools that you have on Blackboard, and you'll choose Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Once you have selected Blackboard Collaborate on Ultra, you will have a chance to actually create a new session. Uh, chances are yes, I do have an, a session already, but I'm going to create one, a new one for you. So basically, what you do is you go create session. You give it a name. Uh, I can say uh, in there so I can just type in hi and I can actually put in an emoji all right uh, the students will enjoy those so you can just say hi to everyone maybe you can put in the ground rules and everything there so that everyone can just go there and read if you like or if someone wants to pose a question without actually voicing themselves because remember some students are very introverted so they won't be able to raise a question in class even if it's is the virtual virtual so what you need to do is they can write their question in there all right and then now when you click on the next one uh, there at the bottom it says moderator so if you have your students now that next heading would have been uh, and participants and then it will list everyone who is a participant there so you will see that now there's my mark is muted as well there but if i uncheck there then can you see that my mark is there so you'll be able to use this function here to see who whose mic is on and whose mic is off so if there's a mic like this next to their name the person's name then it means that their mic is on you'll have to actually politely ask them to mute that all right the next third one is how to share uh, is a uh, the share uh, function all right you can share now your blank whiteboard all right if i click in there so you can have actually a, a whiteboard uh, on the screen anytime now all right so basically what you do is you can actually choose do your pointer you can do a pencil for those who are uh, doing mathematics you can just have your formula there a x squared plus uh, y squared uh, um, equal to zero right and then you can actually do your demonstration there if you mess it up like me you can always click there and then you can just wrap it clear the whole thing there if you would like to use text there you can say hello post a question in there if you uh, if you like all right you'll notice that now because i'm using a screencast like i'm recording this using a different app uh, my spaces are not working properly but you don't have to worry about that because you'll be live so it won't give you this problem all right so that's one thing that you can do you can share a whiteboard if you want to explain something or you want to draw something if you want to uh, do anything so i always love to draw a table mountain for those who are uh from fashion or whatever uh, design all right let me just uh take up everything so you can also share application so I'm, i i understand that most people would want to actually demonstrate something so say for an example i could have also used a uh, blackboard collaborate to share my screen whereby i can actually demonstrate how to use blackboard using the share function but it's just that now i'm actually showing you how to make use of blackboard collaborate so that would have been uh, a problem so once i click there i can share my entire screen i can share a specific application within windows meaning that blackboard or i can share a, a, a chrome tab so once i've clicked this and then i click share audio as well and then i click on share this means that now anyone who is in this class or blackboard collaborate session will be able to see what i'm doing as i demonstrate so it's more for those who would like to demonstrate something using uh, their uh, screen all right so you're basically sharing a screen which i'm not gonna do and then what uh, most of you guys will use is the share file share files you just click on share file let's say now you want to actually 
um, demonstrate something using your 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 powerpoint slides so what you'll do is you'll just select that share file and then click on add files it should actually work as an attachment takes you to your files in this case it's taking me to my desktop All right i've created a powerpoint a dummy powerpoint there it is and then i'll just click on open so once you've created it will actually upload the powerpoint now what i'll advise you as well is that when you create your powerpoint leave it as blank as you as you can like say for an example if you're just using text don't try to put in uh, fancy themes and fancy pictures and videos that 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 that, that will actually strain the, 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 the your, your 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 powerpoint so it's best to actually use something simple black and white you'll just narrate over it anyways so once it's loaded it's done loading it won't show on your screen up until you click once on the on the sorry once you've selected up until you select the powerpoint and click on share now and also even though that you've clicked on share now your screen your slides will show on the side but it won't show on your main screen up until you select your first slide for an example if that's where you want to be so basically what this is what i was talking about now that you have set up remember this is not a live session so what you will do is you're just creating a podcast all right but with with visuals in a way right so what you'll do is you can once you're ready you can just click on the arrow there and then you can click on start recording good day class my name is uh Sonobu Nongile, and i'm here to present a quick lecture for you on blackboard collaborate all right so basically so what you do is the agenda uh today is to show you how to set up a Blackboard Collaborate, how to access the session, how to navigate Blackboard Collaborate, and also uh, show you the chat tools and everything. So basically, you see, can you see now I'm busy recording, but I did not unmute my mic. So the audio is not there. So that's a mistake that I you could easily do. So basically you need to make sure that the audio is there. But also if you like as well, while you are busy uh, doing this, you can always click on. Uh, while you're busy doing this, you can always uh, uh, have your. So for those who okay, basically this is how you actually go through your slides, all right? And then we're up until the last uh, slide, and then when you're done, remember there are no students in this case, so you will just go through your slides, and then when you're done. You can just click on uh, back to the uh, three lines and then you click on stop recording all right all right and also you click the back uh, button all right and then uh, back again but remember you would have stopped recording all right so now i'll also show you how do you access the recording and share it with your students so the idea now also when we're speaking of the recording make sure that your recordings are as short as possible uh, just try to explain key concepts in your in your slide and try to dwell on things and and, and make them long that your students then no, no longer uh are no longer interested in listening so nice and sweet be as authentic as you can be as you can see now sometimes i'm stuttering sometimes i'm messing up things don't don't worry about those things it's part of the process don't don't try to make it sounds as if you are some uh youtube specialist whereby you create like a podcast specialist where you create deep sounds and very nice going even if your kids are screaming in the background even if your dog is actually barking in the background you human you lecture you they are lecture they like to hear your voice and also very important use your voice don't try to actually take someone who has a nice voice and actually go through narrate your powerpoints no use your voice they you students are used to your voice you need to actually uh, use your voice all right so that's basically what you can do all right and then when you are all done you can just click on stop sharing all right and then i can just close that and then when i'm done remember okay i can also stop recording in my case and from this side but this is something that you would have done already after you were you were done uh 
with your PowerPoint slide. All right, when you're done everything now, you can just click on the dotted line at the bottom, you can just leave the session. All right, it will ask you to give a, to rate it, and then you can just say it is excellent in my case, then submit and exit. You will also notice that a Blackboard Collaborate gives you a different slide, sorry, a tab, a different tab. You're in a different tab, so you can actually close this tab. It takes you back in there. All right. So the next question is now that now I've created my podcast, all right, how do I actually access the recording? So within this page, then you go click on the three lines called menu, and then you can see now there it says recordings. Right, what happens is it depends on how long your recording was, right? So what you need to do is you need to give it some time, let's say 10 minutes or 20 minutes for a uh, Blackboard Collaborate to actually uh, work on your recording and then it will show after that. So it doesn't show immediately. So this is something that you, you must know that it shows in here, all right? So, but now it won't show immediately. Let's say, for example, if I go back there, I'm giving it some time. All right. And I go to menu, recordings again. There you go. So now the recording is there. All right. So basically, now that the recording is there, I can actually download the recording. All right. Very important. I can download the recording add the recording into my files and then deploy it into my content area as say for an example week one and then you give it a date away for when and then you actually do your thing or i can copy the link all right but now when you copy the link it's nice because it's also sitting on blackboard all right this is very important especially for those who would like to use zoom because your students are already on uh, non blackboard and uh, this is not gonna be too much for you so you just copy the link and then link has been copied and then you just create an announcement if you like uh, i'll go to announcement and then i'll create a create announcement uh, and then i'll put in maybe as a subject that's fine i can actually paste it there if i want or i can just take that link out there it's a uh, week two lecture all right or whatever you'd like to actually type in uh this uh, uh please for the link your or something like that you know how to do this and then you can just uh, paste the and then very important as well to actually uh, not to restrict the date and send a copy of the announcement immediately all right now this is something that will should be a routine for you students are you must your student must get used to a routine hence it's very important also to do this as a department or so that your students are <clears throat> familiar with this type of a routine for all your for all their subject all right so make sure that you create a podcast you deploy the and then you can submit but you deploy this <clears throat> the, the, the the podcast into the the content area so before you do an announcement all right you can always also do your content area and then you let's say for an example within my content area uh, i can just build and then uh, i can just do a content folder and then i can call it with two 